Hey everybody, I've got a few sound demos for you today as um, we talked with, with Gabriel Beavers about with the very different ways that we can set up Zoom and audio. So I just want to give you a, a sense for what that sounds like with a bassoon. Um, so I'll play you a little example, a couple different examples with a few different audio setups and you can hear the difference. Uh, the first one that you're going to hear is the regular input sound just from a stock microphone on a laptop. No engineering, no nothing changed for it. So, so so if I go through and do kind of this the hack that everybody has learned the, thus far with music ch turn on original sound and zoom so that's going to be going into your audio settings and disabling anything that tries to fix the sound so suppressing inner background noise intermittent or consistent background noise or removing any sort of white noise you want to turn all of that off unfortunately zoom thinks that when we play instruments we're all just white noise so here's with original sound I've just clicked it on now, so you might hear a change in the voice. Original sound setup, stock microphone. Need a little bit more water, but the microphone sounds just fine. So now if I go and change my input device, I've got a blue snowball microphone, that's just a USB, no interface or anything. Here's the, what that sounds like. So under Zoom, I have that saved as USB advanced audio device under the little picture of the microphone down at the bottom. Change my input device. So now it's information or all the sound is rather is coming through the blue microphone. Is still original sound on through the blue microphone. Quite a bit better, but there might still be something yet that we can do. So I'm gonna to try to share my screen here so you can see what's going on on the back end in GarageBand. All right, so here's what GarageBand looks on the back side. You can see that we've done a few of these before, right? I'm gonna stop and get cleared out so we're, we've got a fresh start. Remove any effects that might have come as like a stock amount here. Turn my reverb down reset my EQs. You can play around all with this. It's actually kind of fun. But you can see that the, the setup here through GarageBand and Preferences, we've got all of this set up with the input and output listed as aggregate device, which um, if you haven't watched our other video yet about how to get this set up, this is what um, Gabe was talking about with getting the information, the sound file, the sound waves themselves, right, sent from your instrument, through the microphone, if you have an interface, and even better than it's through your interface, into GarageBand. And now you're going to take GarageBand and use that to do any of this contr audio control that you want. It cleans up the sound a little bit. I personally think you get a much higher quality of articulation information, both for you as a performer and student, or and for your teacher as well. Or if you're the teacher, then you get the, the flip side. Right? So getting that set up for aggregate device, we'll hit record. Hitting record is really, I don't think it's actually required for this to be, uh, for this to work. You should be, you should have heard a change in audio setting um, as soon as I did that. But the nice thing is now when I'm done, this that's recorded, I'll be able to export that as its own audio file. And then you also have an, have an audio copy of your lesson at a really high quality. So you get a nice, a nice double whammy by using this approach. You get a, a an audio recording straight here, or you can use the one that Zoom exports if you have been recording your lessons. It's a nice way to double record. So this is the bassoon 
sound going into the blue microphone. I've still got the uh, preserve original sound set up on, on Zoom's functions. And then it, instead of going directly to Zoom from the microphone, this is going through GarageBand as its own type of interface. So here's what the bassoon sounds like when we've got this running through the DAW that is GarageBand. <laughs> quality of articulation. You also can use this if you have multiple tracks layered in. So if you have multiple microphones, one near um, an accompanist perhaps, or if you're trying to do a layered chamber music, you're trying to do a multi-track chamber music recording and you're all distanced so that you're 6 or 12 or 20 feet apart or whatever the case may be and you're playing simultaneously but the microphones aren't picking up all the same, you can adjust individual volume. <laughs> Or you can adjust if you're really feeling fancy. You can trigger up any of these. Get some high reverb going on here, some high ambience, right? You can play with this or play around with this and get some kind of neat effects that just aren't possible even in in real life acoustic music. <laughs> So there's the, the audio setup that we've, that we've talked through, the few different audio combinations. Again, just a quick run through of what we did today. We did the stock microphone for the laptop. I turned on original sound so that you could hear what that sounds like before and after the white noise suppression of Zoom. Then we fed it just through a USB, external USB microphone, heard what that sounded like, then did the final round of running it through uh, a garage band and then exporting it to Zoom. So all of that is free with the exception of the USB microphone. I think at this point a lot of people who've been doing some virtual teaching and virtual lessons have have purchased at least a kind of bare minimum USB microphone. There's a lot more equipment if you check out our links page uh, that, that Gabe gave us. There's a ton more equipment depending on where your price point is. You can really get some very high quality audio, great microphones, adding an interface into this equation we might be able to get you an example of that of what that does to the sound, but this is certainly a very lifelike and a very acceptable way of getting some high quality audio information out of your lessons and performances. So I hope this was helpful and let us know what you think.